Hey there, this is Lacey Kessler. I am, was totally looking at the wrong place for the camera. Not there. I wasn't, God, I, what is wrong with me? I'm back. Hi, doing YouTube videos again. And as you can see, I am super rusty, but I'm doing it again. I'm looking in the wrong place. I see you here. I'm looking at you. I am bringing this YouTube channel back. I am so excited. We are going to kick things off by doing a no code news segment. Now, I'm building some really fun things over on Fembase to bring some news together. Um, so, if there's any tools that I don't mention that you want updates on, let me know in the comments below. And if there were things that I missed, also let me know because I am pulling this together without some sort of format to go off of. So the very first thing that I want to bring to your attention and share is the very exciting news that Softer has not one, but two really big updates within the last week. One click update. So your users can just click on a button to update a record rather than putting in a modal to do the update, the button, the thing, all of that. So this streamlines that significantly. They also released in their, the second part of their first update was that they have now made it easier to troubleshoot your softer apps. So before the error handling didn't feel quite as clear, not exactly sure what changes needed to be made, but now they have clarified that so that you can actually look at this um, across your base, your table, um, and even in the view mapping. Okay, and the second update to come in from Softer was the action buttons that they updated on their platform. So now they have the delete record, hidden field, and the rich text input. If you want to find out more specifics about those, there's a link in the show notes that will take you directly to those updates. Now, next on my list, and this is really exciting and not really shocking because of the pace that they ship, but you know them, I love them, Glide came in hot saying, okay, now Glide apps are now powered by AI. We need to talk about this. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first no-code tool to say that it's powered by AI. And Glide has been around the space, I mean, I would say for a long time, if we're going to consider like when things started growing. So for them to say that they're now powered by AI is really, really fascinating. If you have thoughts on this, I definitely want to hear where you think Glide is going with this and how deeply embedded AI will be into their product. But let's get back to what they released before we get all crazy thinking about where they're going, because I bet it's going to be somewhere great. All right, so I'm going to list off some of the things here that you can do with AI in Glide now. You can analyze the sentiment of a text. So a practical example of this would be customer feedback. If you're trying to, if you have a ton of feedback and you want to see the sentiment analysis, you can pop that and do that in Glide. Why is that pop that? Some other cool things that you can do is extract keywords from text. You can generate an image, which is super fascinating and interesting. If you have any use cases of how you've been able to do this, I would love to see it. Hit me up in Twitter or here in the comments below. Another thing that you could do is suggest an emoji. You can summarize text. Um, you can even suggest a color, which I'm really curious why you would suggest color. Like based off the sentiment or I don't know how you would use that. Anyway, if you have a use case, let me know. I'd love to hear it. Another super exciting announcement that came in today was from Bubble and it's not actually about their product, but a really cool program that they are running. So their Immerse pre-accelerator platform is now open. You can go and enroll and this is really, really exciting always, but especially because they are wanting to form a cohort of women and femi-identifying folks 
to put them through this cohort to help them work on their idea, learn Bubble, grow their community and network. I think it's fascinating. This is a free program cohort offering. So if this sounds like something that you would be interested in, there's details below, or you can also check it out on Bubble's homepage. I've got two updates left. The last one I'm gonna actually show you a demo of because I'm really excited about it. But before we get into that, let's talk about Webflow. So you can now take your components and connect them to your CMS items. Holy shit. That just makes development time, like, it's so wild how fast you can build this stuff. I'm not saying like snap your fingers fast, but I am saying within a day, you could stand up a multi-page site in Webflow using this super, like, superpower. That was awkward. This amazing feature release to where you take your components and you combine them to your CMS items and you go on to build a very happy little life. It's amazing. Check out the details in the notes. All right. Lastly, I'm very excited about this. And this is my first time actually getting to experience it. Zapier released two really cool things today. I'm only going to focus on one. But the really cool things that they released today are you can create a zap using plain English and you can turn your sentences into code. Now, I am just, for the, these purposes, I'm just going to look at using plain English. I have not seen this before, but let's go jump into it. And I'm super, super curious how this actually plays out and what it looks like. Okay, okay. We are in Zapier right now. Um, this is in beta. Um, I have access to it. I don't know if that's for everybody or just me because I think I did a beta program enrollment, whatever, a while ago. Um, or Zapier just likes to let me preview new cool stuff. I don't know. But let's talk about this. Okay. Write a sentence about what you want to automate. When X happens, do Y, then Z. Okay, in the example, save me leads from Facebook to Google Sheets and email me the lead in Gmail. Okay, so what it's saying is you're going to put, you like, use your words, right, to say what you want it to do. And then Zapier is going to use AI to try and set up your Zap for you, I think. Let's, let's try this. Um, let's just do another example. There's no need for me to like try and do these. Um, I want customer support tickets from Zendesk to create an Airtable entry and notify the customer care channel in Slack. Okay, this is what I want. Let's see. Here is your set. All right, so we've got a new action that takes place in Zendesk. And then we're going to create a record in Airtable, and then we're going to send it in the right channel with the message. I don't even know what to say. This is so amazing. So you can now use Zapier by just describing what you need to happen. I could say, okay, whenever we have a new member that joins, send me a text message so that I can then be alerted immediately and also email me so I'll have a record of it in my email and then I want you to also send a DM from my account to the new member welcoming them to the community. I'm pretty sure it could do that. So this is amazing. Anyway, thanks for checking out this very first installment of No Code News. Um, I'm Lacey Kessler. I'm very excited to create this, to work together with you on it. Um, I'm definitely figuring things out as I go and really just trying to ship and provide the most value that I can as quickly as I can. So bear with me over little things and you can give me feedback or help me. Have a good one.